Watching this video to the end is going to prevent you from making the same mistake I made this year which cost me over $500 all in the name of purchasing a Google AdSense account. Now this is a scam that has actually been going on in the blogging field that we discover that most people that are selling websites are now scamming the people that are purchasing the website. Now I created this video so that you won't make the same mistake I made. So in order to avoid that, I'm going to be sharing with you what you should look out for when you're trying to purchase a Google AdSense account. A lot of people don't actually look out for this and they end up losing the account they purchase. Just like I lost over $500 trying to purchase a Google AdSense account in order to make revenue. Now, when it comes to purchasing an account, one thing we actually discover that the guys in the blogging field are actually doing right now is they get an account that is actually on limit and then they approve ADX on the site. What is the goal of doing this? This is to make sure that ads can be displayed on the site and ADX is still owned by Google and Google AdSense is still owned by Google. If you don't know how Google AdSense work and you are new into the blogging field, I'm going to link a video that I created talking about Google AdSense and how you can get started as a publisher. I'm going to recommend you watch that video and watch also my recent video when I've talked about how I've been able to get Google AdSense in five minutes using Xblog and also get Google AdSense on you.fan. So now when it comes to purchasing a website which is uh, Google AdSense monetized, you need to make sure you're looking out for some factors to make sure that the people selling the website for you, they don't go back and hack the website and also to make sure you don't purchase the wrong website. Number one, when you're buying a website, don't buy an account that is on limits. One thing we actually discovered that they are doing right now is they get an account limited and then they approve Google ADX on the website so that they can sell the site at an higher price. The thing is that Google ADX is still owned by Google and Google AdSense is still managed by Google. So putting ADX on your AdSense account that is on limit doesn't fix your limit. That's why I created a video tutorial talking about how to fix your AdSense limit in seven days. I'm going to recommend you check out that video to see the right way you can fix your AdSense limit in seven days. So what they do is they approve ADX on the website and then they sell it at a higher price. Now, they can get a site that is on limit for as cheap as just 100,000 Naira and then they sell it for as expensive as maybe 700,000 Naira. So that is times 7 ROI in profit that they already made just by buying and reselling. So make sure you don't buy an account on limit. The account that I bought was actually on limit and when we started working on the site, the site got banned in less than 48 hours. Now when you're purchasing a site, make sure you change the password. Change the password that you have on the site, but when you want to do that, give it 48 hours because if you purchase a site which is Google AdSense monetized and you're trying to change the Gmail login in less than 24 hours, you're most likely to get your account limited by Google AdSense. They don't want you changing the, uh, the password anyhow, so Google can actually close your account. Google, not Google AdSense. Number three, when you're purchasing a website, make sure you download and back up the files. Make sure you download the files and have the backup in an external folder or in your cloud so that when the owner of the website goes and delete the website, you don't lose your data. We've had people that fail, you know, for this, that when they purchase the website, the person that actually sold the website to them needed to delete it to save some space on his hosting services. So make sure you don't, uh, you back up your site so that to prevent your site from being deleted and to prevent you from losing data. When you're purchasing a website, make sure that you download the backup codes, you change the phone number, and then you change the password. Make sure you put two-factor authentication on the Gmail account that you purchased so that the owner will not be able to recover it back because some people actually do that. I'm not saying 
every single person that's selling a website is trying to scam you but i'm saying that when you don't do this you make your site vulnerable to scammers so make sure you put two-factor authentication make sure you put your password make sure you change the phone number make sure you download the backup codes and also you can actually change the wordpress logins also don't make the mistake of migrating your site very fast immediately you purchase a website don't rush to do the migration because when you migrate your site very fast you are at the risk of getting your account limited by google adsense or even getting delisted by google adx so what you're supposed to do is to just back up the site and give it few time and also if you want to migrate give it like a month or two months before you do the migration so with all that in place you're going to prevent your account from getting banned by google and also you're going to prevent losing your account to scammers and if you are interested in making thousands of dollars in adsense and you want to join my student and also print figures on your google adsense account i'm going to leave my whatsapp link in the comment section below make sure you reach out to me and i'm going to tell you how it works thank you